Hello and welcome to nepaltraveler.com. We are back once again with the next episode of Nepal Travel Trade Talk. And today we have with us a very, very renowned, important person who has put Nepal on the global map for his cuisine, for the food that he's serving. And he has given this journey of Nepalese culinary items, especially Mithila, to the world. And he's making that famous. I'm really happy today to invite uh, Chef Santosh Shah to our show. Namaste. Namaste. So chef, sir, we usually start with, how did you start your journey as a chef? What inspired you? What age were you looking at? No, I want to be a chef. So my journey is a little bit different than others. Um, uh, I, when I was um, 14 years old, very young age, I went to India for work purpose. Okay. That time I don't know uh, what work I will get and I will start my journey for my life. So that time I started working as a kitchen porter in Five Star Hotel. From there I see one chef, very talented and very energetic and, and, he, and he was so dashing and talking. I said, I want to be like him while I was was in port and then my journey start from there so i got a promotion as a helper in a kitchen helper and then i put my full passion into cooking and i decided to be a good chef one day and then yeah. you went to london to uk yeah That's so i work uh, 13 14 years uh, in india uh, till i get um, five-star hotel executive chef and then 2010 I moved to UK and you worked in Indian restaurants yeah so I always work in a, a Indian background food and I am a, a Indian food chef so I, I work in a tandoor curry and um, also different different kind of cuisine as well but main uh, cuisine is my Indian mm -hmm. cuisine and when I went to India uh, from India to London I work uh, as an Indian chef in an Indian restaurant and uh, many uh, good reputation restaurant in London. Yeah. And you actually became a celebrity overnight, a celebrity chef with Master Chef. What was that experience like? How did it happen? So I always wanted to go in a competition. I always went in many competitions there in UK as well and while I was working in India as well. And must, before Master Chef, I was in a TV and my article was in so many uh, paper in uh, UK, almost, almost all national paper and local paper there. And also I was uh, in a Sony TV, GTV. So, uh, I was cooking food, uh, in food there before, before MasterChef. Okay. So why, why I got famous? Because of I uh, cook Nepali food in MasterChef. So I uh, promoted Nepali food uh, while I was competing in a master chef. And after that, uh, I become a celebrity uh, in Nepal. So, and, uh, yes, and yeah. I think Nepal is hugely indebted to you because you've put us on the global map, cuisine-wise, uh, culinary. People have started talking about Nepali food. Uh, and that's something which is very important. Now that you're back in Nepal, what are your plans? You've started Mithali Thali, number of outlets. What is the plan and how are you going about that? So uh, when I uh, won the MasterChef, I, I was 2021, I was a runner up and 2021 uh, rematch winner. I was uh, and I cook uh, uh, Mithila food for the winning dish. Okay. It was a Mithila Thali. So it was 17, 20 dishes. And uh, then I decided let's uh, go to Nepal and I want to do something for Nepal. And I want to work in Nepal because everybody moving from from uh, Nepal to abroad and uh, I, I, I thought that will be a great idea for inspiration and inspiring the people people uh, I can do in Nepal and after this fame uh, name uh, I got from Nepal so I should not give to back to Nepal something you know and I came to Nepal and I live in Nepal for like two three years uh, doing nothing just researching writing book and uh, meeting people uh, understanding the culture, food and everything, so uh, from the 21 to 23, I, I live here doing nothing, research. just uh, researching, research. yeah, research about the food, traveling, and I, 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 I fall in love with Nepal, 
because when I was very young age, I left Nepal, left and now I I got a chance to see Nepal very closely, and I I think uh, this is my destination to retire in Nepal, and I wanted to open a fine dining restaurant in Nepal, but researching about that. Uh, people don't know about the fine dining. Uh, we very difficult to find fine dining chefs, and uh, very difficult to find dining fi uh, fine dining customer. So I, I thought not to do fine dining now. Maybe wait and then let's promote our local cultural food. And then I come up with the idea to do the Mithila Thali in Janakpur last year, and that's uh, we com competed one year. And now I opened three more in Kathmandu. One in uh, Jamsikil, one in Gairi Dhara, and one in uh, Pashpati, near Pashpati, and that's a Pashpati one is pure vegetarian restaurant. So, so coming to the Pashupati one, it's being a pure vegetarian, and you were talking to, earlier before this interview about connecting it with the Ayodhya and the... Yes, so Mithila Thali, um, uh, this is a social entrepreneur. It's a totally social cause restaurant. I, whatever I do, every move I do very carefully. So I opened this restaurant in Janakpur to helping local people, housewives and local community as well. And promoting Mithila cuisine. This cuisine was never served in a restaurant. This was only, this is a home cooked food and people cook at home and for their family and for their, themselves. And I designed it, this food to be sell in the market and Mithila Thali uh, giving job to uh, housewives Lots of people working for us in village. They're making rice crackers, they're making tilori, birria, spices, the spices lots of lots of things, oil. They, they're making and then we're sending using. to us and we are using. Even we connected to the farmers as well. So we buy direct from the farmers, uh, vegetables, chili, every, every, all, all, all those vegetables we buy from directly from them. And then they are thinking, oh, my, if, if, if I grow my vegetable, there is someone who can buy it. So I, I connected to this one and Mithila Thali in uh, Pasupati, I opened vegetarian. So I, I announced it earlier in the media, uh, I'm opening restaurant in Ayodhya and Doha, Qatar. So Doha, one restaurant, next move will be and then Ayodhya. So Ayodhya, I want to connect with the Ram and Sita uh, story, Ramayan. So Ram came to Nepal and get got married yeah, with uh, Sita. And yeah, Swambar happened and then they got married with uh, Sita. And um, there, there will must be celebration of food as well, because in our culture in Madhesi culture, we have a, a f celebration of food. We celebrate food a big time in a church festival, any marriage function or any kind of uh, celebration. We say. so that's festival food, Mithila food. I want to take in. Uh, Ayodhya, because Ayodhya nowadays in uh, it's got a huge uh, tourism uh, we, because of Ram huge Mandir. tourism and uh, Sita. Whenever you say Ram, Sita uh, always there. Uh, people talk about the Sita and Janakpur, and I want to take Janakpur food to Ayodhya. So that's I, a connection. I think that's a wonderful move because that will help even greater promotion of Nepal as a tourism destination yeah. because of that uh, connection. But how easy has it been or how difficult has it been to set up uh, Janakpur Thali, all these outlets? Uh, it was not an easy task because I, I, I have never been done any business. business. I, never, I always work for someone. Now I started um, business and now I know how difficult to do a business. And I, I did, this is a totally new things, never done. Uh, very easy, some, sometimes it's very easy when you copy someone's business. Someone already made, created the path. Exactly, yes. Mithala Thali path was not created before. It's something unique. Something very exactly. unique, very, unique. Uh, very new. And that, that was a very challenging for me. Very, very challenging. Even uh, the people from there, the cultural food, and the food from local. That, the, what I served in a Mithila Thali, the food from Janakpur. And when people coming to eat in my restaurant and they're thinking, we make better than this food in our home, you know. And then we are trying to improve and improve and improve. Now we are in, the, uh, in that path and that line where, where, where we want it to be. And it was very, very difficult. Now, also SOP or 
standard recipe standards is very difficult dal bhat restaurant is very difficult to make a standard of recipes exactly. same tastes in all brands is still very challenging but we will make it we will make it for sure and how difficult is it to get staff cooks chefs because everyone is leaving the country so what i what i um, a face here in nepal uh, very true everybody leaving nepal going to abroad for a better future everybody i think uh, i i seen my future better in nepal i came here and we have a staff almost uh, 150 60 people <coughs> working for us in mithila thali almost half of the staff already holding the passport and already apply for a visa you know and i say okay whenever you got visa you uh, you are we are we are free to go you know all the time but then i find a solution what 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 we can do i train the who there is a three kind of people one is very lower education one is middle education one is higher education so middle and higher always will leave country but lower med- uh, education people who finish the sce or plus 2 after okay. that they don't know what to do okay. or they are financially financially difficult they will never leave country so i create job for them okay i am looking for those people who can come I, i can teach you i can give you training and you can work for us so uh, we don't have a staff problem I, in mithila thali we are very we pay very well we take care very good staff we give a full accommodation we give pay medical uh, to the staff so i, I think uh, nepal still have uh, so many people who looking for a job and who want to be here who don't pay well for them is difficult to find a staff if you pay staff good salary good accommodation good facilities you will find it show them future you know who already seen future in america or uk you cannot keep him okay. here but if somebody seeing future in nepal then give him good salary and teach him the future how you can grow they will stay here in nepal with you and chef how is mithila thali being received let's say by people in kathmandu by nepalese so when i open uh, in jonakpur it was a mixed mixed uh, feedback about the food service cleaning hygiene or lots of things because we was learning i understand but the whole life i work as a chef and uh, in a hotel Same i understand the comments and did, there was a, so many uh, genuine com- complaint and suggestion and people love me they they love me so always they give a suggestion send me inbox messages social media the comments and everything i read everything it was a mixed feedback in jonakpur the years of experience i applied in kashmandu and jamsik hill open first branch and it was a 100% good feedback 100% good feedback jamsik hill is still very crowded when yeah. i pass by there's a crowd there so jamsik hill i opened 3 months ago and uh, we are sitting in gairidhara now gairidhara open uh, 10 days yes. now so still training going on the lots of the fixing things going on and uh, pasupati open 15 days ago so that's a vegetarian also very very good food and appreciation is there the vegetarian people who went there and who have food and they send me messages and they love it so it's a really really nice vegetarian food there so we have a good appreciation even janakpur now we have a very good appreciation even local people coming now to our restaurant for the celebration for the birthday party for uh, uh, family meal they are coming there and they they appreciate a lot now so also mithali food nepali food now do you see also tourist tour in town or tour groups or the agents are they looking at giving that experience to visitors to tourists a very good question you know i if we, if we finish this interview or maybe we can go to capture them we we see in our in this restaurant almost four table is foreigner table here okay so they are tourists They're, who are yeah. wanting to so lots of lots of foreigner coming in jhamsi kel almost 20% is foreigner and tourist and uh, travel agent always uh, looking to give a their uh, guest experience one nepali one cuisine one, uh, in a paspati one okay yeah the always we have a travel group there yeah because Lasso. that's very important because when yeah. tourists are in nepal it's one of the experiences to experience our culinary 
offerings and things like that. Yeah, so I, even uh, in any hotel, if you stay in a hotel or you ask the reception guy or uh, help desk, if you ask help desk and they will say, if you ask where I, where I can get Nepali food, I want to taste Nepali ethnic cuisine some, mm -hmm. and they will give you few uh, Thakali, Thakali restaurant name Thakali and uh, yeah. also Tarai if you want to uh, eat uh, differently food, different flavor than Mithila Thali and uh, if you want uh, uh, Nevari, they will give you Lohana and Sasa, yes. you know, they, so they give um, now more uh, regional cuisine should be open in Kathmandu so the people can have a lots of choices there. Yes, I, I've seen that even uh, Kathmandu people, Nepalese themselves, have started to get more adventurous. They want to go out and try new food, new experiences. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I see in, uh, Kathmandu and Nepal scene are growing for the dining experience. And Friday, Saturday, maximum people Sunday, go Sunday. out and uh, family out and for dinner. And most crowded day in Kathmandu for the restaurant is Friday, Saturday. That means the food scene is growing and people want to take their family and their kids for a nice meal and nice time there. Chef, you worked in UK, you worked in India and you worked in Nepal. Uh, what kind of uh, experience have you had and what do you think makes Nepal a little different from the other places? But Nepal is totally different from the others. Nepal is a heaven. For me, it's a really, really beautiful country. Not beautiful by seeing but beautiful culture beautiful food beautiful people every single things the even uh, festival uh, cultural festival things nepal is uh, so many things to offer in the, in, if you go to abroad uh, or uk usa or any any part of the world you know you don't find this kind of combination and combining people and happy people even we are very uh, minimum on uh, income base or uh, GDP or, or any capital. Very capital is very, very minimum. But if you see the people are very, very happy, you know, I was mentioning the other day, this country is run by people, not by politician. You know, in, when I was living in the UK, if government change, GDP go down. No. In our country, if every matter. three months, four months is changing government, it doesn't matter. Doesn't GDP matter. is the same. And that is, yes, running. and that means is very very uh, the people running country. It's not politician or not uh, the height of people running. Doesn't matter the changing in is happen, yeah. but uh, nothing is changing uh, in a GDP or economically. That means if, if uh, UK government is changing in six month or so three months, the GDP will be going upside down down in America, in Russia, anywhere. But Nepal, you know, that means is people running country. You know. Also, Chef, uh, how do you see the food situation? Because so many restaurants have come in into Kathmandu, especially, and other parts of the country, Pokhara. Uh, is there really that uh, growth in the market, or a lot of restaurants just come and then they pack up and go away also? But Kathmandu, I see lots of restaurants is closing down. Uh, my uh, almost um, this restaurant I buy already was closed down. Um, Jamsikel also, also was it was a Yum Yum Cafe before. And they shut down. So lots of restaurants I've seen and lots of offer we have uh, for buying another restaurant. But I think they're making a mistake who open, opening the restaurant. They need to be concept, need to be very clear. Everyone selling to mama chowmin or pizza, then the people, where, where should going there? You know, who will be going to you? And which, who are you targeting? You know, like I open one very clear message. This restaurant is for Dalvat lover. If you like Thakali, you will love it. This little variation yeah. is there. It's yeah, different dish. flavor, but uh, is Dalvat restaurant. But that concept is clear here. You know, if I confuse it, you know, why should we going to Santosa Mitla Thali restaurant? There is a confusion, then your restaurant yeah. will not work. But the, here is a very clear message. If you like the Dalvat, the Mithla food, if you want something new flavor, if you want to taste the Tarai food, then you must come to Mithila Thali. So people, whoever opening restaurant, message for them. Open very clear messages. Restaurant open open with very clear messages. You know, what you're serving in your restaurant. As a final question, Chef, some time back you had a plan to open a fine dining, maybe the first Nepal Michelin star yes, restaurant. Yes. Where will that uh, be at the moment? And are you still, it's there in your plans? What is your vision for that? What is your dream? 
it will be always on a plan and that's my dream to open a Michelin star Nepali restaurant or Nepal or, or, or in abroad. Nepal don't have a Michelin guide because you'll never but Michelin, Michelin is standard restaurant I want to open in Nepal and it will be in plan that's my dream and one day uh, I want to be a Michelin star chef for myself as well. So that plan is going on and that's a financial situation going Nepal is very badly. So uh, I'm not strong enough to open a okay. fine dining yeah. restaurant by myself and we're looking for investors. So hopefully we will find the investor in Mithilathali. This is all my own restaurant, everything. So we don't have investor anyone. And this is a very a small capital, uh, capital, a small restaurant. Uh, but one day I will be opening one restaurant very, very soon you know, fine dining, where I will be creating the dishes, Nepali food, serving with the styles, serving with the story, serving with um, lots of thoughts. And also perhaps in UK? UK I will do, because UK... The Mithila Thali in UK. Uh, Mithila Thali um, after Ayodhya uh, and Doha, yeah. and then I will plan where I will take it. Maybe Australia will be good, because okay, lots of Nepali yes. there in Nepali community. And UK is okay. curry country. Yes. UK also UK called country. Curry King Country. And you know that market, you, you have... Be, um, at 14 years I live in UK. So one day I will open with Lathali and find any as well. Thank you so much, Chef, and all the best for your plans. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Very nice.